Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Math Matters and this is Sabrina with you today. We are going to talk about um, chapter, decimal chapter today and I really want you to uh, watch the video because I'm going to make it a little bit short. I'm not going to discuss every single detail as I have been done in my previous videos. So just uh, be with me. Okay. This is chapter 9 and this is about all about decimals. At first, let us know what are the decimals. Okay. So, when we use points like uh, this, points 0 0.56 or 3.92. Okay. We are using, you can see, a point over here in between the digits. Okay. So these are called the decimal numbers okay these are called decimal numbers but when we actually only write down only two or five hundred or uh, fifty nine thousand on this they are not having any decimal this is not decimal actually this is a comma okay so this number and that number and that number they are called integers okay the whole number which had which does not have any fraction part that means any broken part is called integer okay the integer part is actually actually very very important so you have to remember that part as you can see i have marked them uh, the highlighted part you can see that um, Numbers such as 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 2.3 are called decimal numbers. Okay, and the number which such as 0, uh, 1, 2, and so on, the whole numbers are actually called integers. Okay, these two parts are very, very important for you. So let's go for the further inspection. I would like to tell you about these few things which are actually important see 1 by 10 1 part out of 10 part I always keep telling you uh, as uh, you know in the fraction chapter also that uh, 1 part out of 10 part okay or we can say 3 part out of 10 part okay on the, ten, on the time what happened on the time basically we do the uh, division and find out the decimal numbers but for now just for now for the opening or basic knowledge you have to know that we are going to write down 0 0.1 we are going to write down our numerator after the decimal numerator after the decimal don't forget that part so this one will be point uh, zero point and then numerator is three so we are going to write down the numerator over here so that is actually how we are going to do and um, if there are something like this let me show you if there are like uh, two liter okay two liter and also uh, five part out of ten part of one liter on the time what will happen we are going to write down that is actually 0 0.5 uh, from the previous um, moment you can you have seen that part this okay but when we have integer like this the whole number we are not going to write down our zero over here we are going to write down the two over here that means 2.5 so exactly like this one if we have 10 liter and three part out of ten part of one liter on the time we will say what please say with me the point we are going to write down over here the integer will come in front of the point no matter how much big the numbers are it doesn't matter okay and also you can say that uh, this one is 0.3 so we are going to write down the numerator after the decimal so this is your actual numbers how to write down the decimal part okay uh, i have i think i have already made that part clear to you okay i want to explain the book part also let me show you that part uh, 
this is the blue dark blue part is actually there are 10 parts in one liter okay they made a 10 part it doesn't matter you can make more but for now for the decimal chapter <laughs> suppose that one we are actually dividing the ten, uh, one liter into 10 part and uh, that one part the dark blue color part is actually one part out of 10 part which is actually 0.1 if you are going for one two three then up to this much will be three part out of ten part you can tell me what is the decimal number of this one yes exactly 0 0.3 okay this is how we are going to count our pictures also we can talk about our <laughs> these figures you can see that one is actually one two three four five six seven eight nine nine part of ten part it means 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.9 oh how silly i am one two three four okay that is actually this is the second figure that one is the first figure this is the second figure we have a uh, four part out of ten part it means 0 0.4 and here you can see that uh, the previously you have seen in this video uh, there are one whole liter whole liter and we have one two three four five five part out of one uh, 5 part out of 10 part of 1 liter it means 0.5 and that one is 1 whole 1 so it will be together it will be 1.5 exactly like this one that one will be the fourth figure will be 1 2 3 3 liter and 1 2 3 3.3 3. I hope that you already know what is this and from here you can see that this is the decimal, decimal number, decimal number, decimal number, decimal number. 4 and 2 are actually the integers, okay? Uh, the whole number you can say also. So, I am not going to do it. You, you are going to do it by yourself because I have already shown you. Here, the page number 105, I am going to explain that part only. You can see there is a ribbon or a tape, uh, the are actually measuring and in centimeter okay so we have one two three four five six seven up to seven centimeter up to seven centimeter but the tricky part is let me show you the tick tricky part is after um, seven after seven there's a one batch two three four four part that means each part actually uh, telling that one part out of 10 part that is the one centimeter from seven to eight the whole centimeter and uh, one part out of uh, 10 part of one centimeter is called millimeter i hope that you already know from the uh, measurement chapter um, so there are four part that means the whole number is seven and also four part out of 10 part is actually 7.4 centimeter not millimeter because we are actually counting as a centimeter okay so seven centimeter and four millimeter for the first question first question and how many centimeter in one millimeter that is one part out of ten part of one centimeter which is 1.5 centimeter okay and how can you write four centimeter in sorry exact uh, four millimeter in um centimeter we actually say four part out of ten part of one centimeter it is point zero point four centimeter and the whole thing together already i have explained seven point four centimeter if you don't understand any of it please go back and watch the video again okay as you can see that i'm going to escape that part but not here put the number put those numbers uh, you can do it by yourself uh, you're just going to count it I'm going to do the important part is that one is four number and white one number okay these two things are, are really 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 important okay the first question of the fourth number I'm going to just move a little bit aside so that I can write down my answer over here the four number please page 106 oh how I'm writing okay and that one is four number to be exact four a a number question is what would be the number made of 25 1 0 0.1 units okay 25 at first we are going to write on that 25 in numbers okay 
25 in numbers and they said uh, it should be 0 0.1 I'm going to just be uh, do not write it just I'm just going to show you 0 0.5 just imagine if you actually comparing this two number which is missing that part is missing okay that decimal is missing so if they ask you how many 0 0.1 units makes 25 we are going to just write down that number uh, I said I think I say something wrong right uh, what is the number made of uh, 25 0.1 units okay so we are going to write down the 25 first and then we are going to just compare in our head and put the decimal where the decimal is missing okay for the b number they said look at this what uh, write down uh, write down the number made of 20 0.1 units so we are going to write down the 20 first and now compare in your head 0 0.1 units so which part we are actually missing the decimal part we are actually missing so this is the number actually made of 0 0.20 uh, 0 0.1 units okay we say that one as a unit that is a better one so just keep it up with me okay the c number is little bit different why it is different look how many 0 0.1 units makes 3.2 the previous two maths are actually we are missing uh, the decimal numbers we write down the decimal numbers for a and b but for uh, c number you can see the decimal is giving so we are going to just take out of the decimal how many how many we are going to find out how many so we are just going to write down our number 3.2 but we are not going to write down the um, what should I say decimal over here so we are just going to write down 32 of 0 0.1 units make uh, I think you cannot see right uh, here make 3.2 okay this is an answer 32 uh, 32 of 0 0.1 units makes this so the, just think about it that if when they are actually giving us a number we are going to just put the decimal but when they are giving us the decimal number we are just going to take off the decimal just opposite thing okay do not uh, think too much about it exactly like that one we are going to find out how many one units and 0 0.1 units makes 3.2 okay 3.2 let's write it first of all one units as i say that one unit at the integers actually so we have in 3.2 we have integers as 3 of one unit and if we are talking about the 0 0.1 this one already if you have done and 32 of 0 0.1 units make okay 3.2 just talking about the integer we are just going to take out our integer uh, again you cannot see wait huh no we are talking about the integers the one unit so we are going to just write down the one units over here for this this one is uh, the first answer and that one is the second answer okay now i'm going to go for uh, white one and this is actually a pretty uh, interesting one so we are talking about that one white one okay so what what we are going to do on white one we are going to just put the greater than or smaller than sign so let's see how to put that greater than or smaller than sign um, in my class i have already explained how to put it exactly that way we are going to use the that method uh, if any of the student get confused about it so don't just worry let's see at first we are going to compare that integers we have the first part of the decimal okay so we are let's see uh, count that one that one is two and that one is uh, one so what we are going to do uh, the two is actually bigger than one so we are going to give two two points and one is a one point just add them right 
it's a little bit crooked don't worry about it okay now you can see that three is a whole number and these are a whole integer actually and that one doesn't have any numbers um, which one is a whole number actually so three definitely bigger so let's give the two point and zero one point so just add in now here seven and six you got the idea what to do right and here we don't have any number it's actually a literal zero and that one is point uh, one so this one is actually bigger okay so we are going to put that two point see that is this is how easy the maths are okay now we are going to go for the next one you can see the white one from page 107 is uh, again the same thing but here we are actually comparing two different things. Uh, one, uh, one is fraction, another is decimal fraction. But just think about like this. Uh, 8 part out of 10 part is 0 0.8 and there is 0 0.7. Definitely 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.7. So that would be the sign. Okay, I'm not going to uh, mark on my book. Just let's see with a pencil. This. Okay, here you can see... Uh, 3 part out of 10 part is actually 0 0.3 and here is also 0 0.3 so we are going to just put the equal sign because both of them are equal here again 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 3 is definitely greater than 1 as they are both are fraction parts so we are going to put that sign over here now here uh, I hope that you remember from the fraction chapter that if the numerator and this, uh, denominator is equal that means there is a whole number 1 right and they are 0 0.9 the 0 is actually smaller than 1 so we are just going to put that sign over here okay okay now the uh, one part is actually about addition or subtraction of decimal numbers but always remember that always try to find out that the whole numbers are actually 7 means 0 0.7 not only 7 okay 0 0.7 and 5.5 .5. you can see the numbers okay how to put them together if the both number are decimal then totally fine uh, just align the decimal under decimal okay never ever forget that part align the decimal under decimal not uh, right side or left side never ever do that uh, here this is the correct answer uh, 7 plus 3 makes 10 10 uh, uh, 0 carrying 1, 1 goes over here, uh, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 4. Okay, the decimal will come over here. And the, when you are actually doing math, the, this, one you will group, this one will be 4.0. But never ever cut down as your book, uh, cut it over here. Just in the answer, you are just going to write down answer double dot 4. Okay, you don't have to write down the decimal after uh, sorry, you don't have to write down the decim uh, zero after decimal, okay, right after decimal because uh, it's not needed, okay. On that time, we actually consider that one as the whole number, okay, the integer. Now, you can see that we are four, we are having seven and 5.5. .5. This is the wrong way. We are not going to put it that way. We are going to put 7.0, okay, 7 point. Never forget that. Every number every integer actually is having point uh, point something zero 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 it doesn't matter how many zeros are <laughs> after that number because zero doesn't have any value this is why we don't write it okay and this is why we know that after seven there is a decimal and then zero how many zero lots and lots of zero can be it can be lots of zero so just think like that okay uh, this then align the uh, decimal then write down like this 5 plus 0 is 5 7 plus uh, 5 is 12 okay 12.5 your answer is 12.5 these are the wrong way do not follow this way whenever we have to subtract any uh, decimal number from integer exactly like that way just follow 5.0 then 0 0.3 like this the just align the decimal decimal should be right under decimal and number line should be followed okay so you are just going to do the subtraction you know how to do the subtraction right um here is actually uh, we are uh, taking as a 10 and subtracting the 7 that this one will come over here and it will be 1 plus 0 is uh, 1 and from 5 if you subtract 1 then it is 4 exactly the simple way okay exactly that way again it is 16 from 16 to subtract 8 then this one 
will come over here and 2 plus 1 become 3 3 subtract 3 is 0 so this is your answer this is how you are going to do this whole math you are going to do that way i'm just going to show a few from there like one or two let me show you so you can see that um, 3 and this one is the phone number from page 108 and uh, 9 and 3 makes um, 12, 12, 2 carrying 1, carrying 1 goes over here and 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we are going to just write down over 1 here and the decimal after the decimal never ever forget to write down the decimal because these are actually the decimal math you cannot deny it okay. <laughs> And now we are having the whole one part and whole one integer and there is one. So let's write it like this: one point uh, decim Sorry, is one point. Huh, one point. And this decimal will be under decimal, and there will be zero and three. Okay. Now you can see we don't have any number to subtract over here. That one was addition, by the way. This one is subtraction. So now we don't have anything so put it just decimal that's it nothing else now that will become 10 then it's a 7 this one will come over here 1 minus 1 so this is 0 okay and the decimal over here now you can see that we are actually uh, uh, getting our answer as 0 0.7 never ever uh, on the other math uh, when we have zero we don't put it over here but when we are actually doing that decimal math on the time we have to put it over there okay the another one i wanted to show you is let me find it out okay this is this is the another one three plus uh, seven makes uh, ten carrying one so this is the one carrying and that one will become um seven now we are writing 7.0 okay but in answer we are going to do what we are going to just write down the 7 because we know that basically there is actually uh, 0 0.7 are uh, here okay uh, we do write it or we don't write it doesn't matter okay by this time you get a very good idea about page 110 which is actually about all the larger number, smaller number. Uh, this one, this addition and subtraction, and uh, this one also. This one is actually 3.0. Never forget that one. That one 5.0. And do the math, addition or subtraction, doesn't matter. Okay. So, just I'm going to show you from the supporting book. Okay, this part actually the one number math. Uh, you don't have to write down these things. Just this part. Okay just this part you don't have to write down this is why we, uh, we don't only like actually i don't like the you know using the guide book or whatever so supporting book we don't like it anyway this part okay this part you have to do the rough they didn't show the rough so i'm just going to skip that part i'm going to just show you the vertical one okay the vertical one they done this one over here all of them and uh, the answers are actually accurate so don't have to worry about that one uh, just providing that one and here the last math from this video Gautam's house this one it's this one oh it gives me chills okay the uh, supporting book I really really don't like it test paper is another thing when you are going to go for class 5 definitely you'll have the test paper and you have to practice from that one and that one is a great 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 supporting book for class 5 psc psc actually uh gautam's house is point uh, uh 8.2 kilometer in the west that is gautam's house and uh, in the east uh there is uh nine kilometer away there is shima's house so in the middle of the uh, there is school and the west part is gotham's house and the east part there is uh, shima's house and both of them are actually having two different um, what should i say two different uh, distance to be accurate uh, this is the distance and uh, let me show you Okay, so what they are so go first question they say that how many kilometer it is from Gotham's house to Sima's house. So we have to all the way cross that uh, um, destination, okay, or 
the whole path so we have to add them together and just to write down it you are just going to show the addition let me show you so just what you are going to do you are going to say distance from uh, Shima's house and distance from uh, distance of uh, Gautam's house after that you are going to give a line over here I don't want you to do any extra math so there will be a line over here and do the addition over here do the addition over here and there will be they didn't give us any space but there will be zero and there will be kilometer over here now do the addition as we have 9.0 9.0 and 8.2 so it will be 2 and nothing no carrying and there will be 17 so then you write you are going to write down the so the distance from shima's house to gotham's house is this much you don't have to do that math over here never ever do that okay this is why i don't like supporting book anyway this is the answer for the first uh, number answer then they gave us find out the distance of uh, difference of the distance okay difference of the distance exactly that way you are going to write down the bigger one is actually uh, shima's one so you are going to write down the shima's one first the distance of shima's house uh, from school equal to nine kilometer nine oh nine point oh kilometer and the other one is uh, distance from Gautam's house is 8.2 kilometer. Then exactly do the same thing, same thing. And now it will be a subtraction. Okay, it will be a subtraction. I don't want you to do this. So don't. Okay, just do. Then subtraction. Find your answer and write down the sole line. Before then that, you have to write down one thing. The one line I really, really like to um, like to tell is this line this is this is you are going to write down since 9 kilometer is greater than a 8.2 kilometers so Simash house is located at a place distance of 0 0.8 kilometer longer than the distance of show, uh, Gotham's house this line you are going to write down after this two number math okay this is all for today I'm going to get another break and there will be more maths of this part so stay tuned goodbye